So the mom with the three babies came first today. Those baby those babies I think were born maybe around May because they still because they still pretty small. And they only show up here about two weeks ago. So there is three of them. Oh, the one is drinking water. So they're just getting accustomed, but they're pretty brave. Hmm? Aren't you brave, little ones? And they really love that dog food that I buy for them. I have been buying the same brand for about three years now. And uh, all the raccoons seem to love this kind. So today I had the one with the small morsels. I have another one that um, I buy with much uh, larger ones, but I generally buy that one once the raccoons are a little bit bigger. So for the little ones, I think this is the better choice. And of course they all eat peanuts and they eat uh, grapes as well. So here I prepare a bowl, sorry, the light. The bowl mixed with peanuts and grapes, and uh, we'll see soon. I think once Black Mama comes with her broth, then she will. Uh, they will enjoy coming up and eating from that bowl. Plus, of course, my special friend, who's not here today yet, is one of the babies of Black Mama from last year. Okay, so that's how it looks now. Today is almost full moon. You can see it poking through the trees. I think one more day it's going to be through full moon. And the night is not too warm. I'm actually had to dress like much warmer because, uh, yeah. They always say from the 26th of July, which is today, the nights uh, and the mornings are becoming colder, which I guess in this case, we don't have really warm nights this year, so it doesn't matter. And how cute are those babies? So cute. And of course, Mama is very cute, too. Aren't you cute, Mama? Yep. They are pretty lucky this year, this summer, because generally we are only here on the weekends. But for the month of July and August, I've decided um, that I only want to work a four-day week. And in some cases, a three-day week. So I've used my vacation days and uh, to to do th just that. So I have been coming here every two, three days because, of course, if I um, work the Saturdays, which I have to work in this case um, in the summer, every second Saturday, then I get a day off during the week. So, for example, this week I was off on Monday because I took this as a vacation day. So we were here, I was here till Monday night. Then went to work on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I came uh, here right after work on Wednesday night. Today's Thursday. It was my day off because I have to work this Saturday. So I'm staying the night again, so two nights I'm staying, and I'm going home tomorrow morning. And then I have to go to work for 10 o'clock tomorrow, till 6, and then I still have to work Saturday, so I'll be done at around 5, 5.30. And now we'll come here again, and we'll stay again till Monday. And... Uh, because I'm again off on Monday because of vacation. 
and I also took Friday off next weekend so I be only at work um, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and I probably would, ham would come here on Thursday night and I'm uh, and everybody's off on Monday because it's a holiday. Who came here? What are you fighting? Who are you fighting with? Yeah, um, next weekend is a holiday weekend in Canada. It's a civic holiday. So everyone's off on Monday. So that's how it goes here for me these two months. So I'm constantly here. I think the longest that they have been without food, um, would, without me here, would be about three nights. And generally, I leave them enough so it lasts them for two nights. So the most they have to fend for themselves is one night, which they can do. I mean, they can do any nights, really, because they're wild animals. Um, there is woods, there are meadow, meadows. They can eat, uh, they can find food. However, they don't have to because they have the luxury that the food is served for them here. And this way, they don't have to look for it. Uh, as we all know, um, that um, wild animals' life is either like they're looking for food and they're looking that somebody not going to hurt them. So basically they're always aware or they're always looking for something. So I want to make it easier uh, for them a little bit so they don't have to worry about at least the food and uh, they don't have to go anywhere across the road, go to some... Um, farms which are nearby because I, I did hear some gunshots here. Some people would be shooting, unfortunately, animals because can someone explain to me what kind of uh, person shoots like at 6, 6.30 in the morning or around like uh, 6.37 at night or 8 o'clock. So that's probably the time that the animals come to their house to look for food and some bastard would be shooting them so I don't want them to go anywhere if they don't have to so they can stay nice and healthy around here now the mom with one baby is here and here's the baby okay there you go so cute that's the very first baby that we've seen this year hey what 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 you want peanut yeah, so he's he's quite big now. So he came first, his mom. Then the black mama came with four babies, and then um, this mama that I just filmed came with three babies. So we have eight babies this year, and everybody's still here and healthy. Well, hopefully, black mama's gonna come with four today. It's always a worry about that because last year we had so many babies and so many babies died. It's horrible. At the end of the summer we had like one third of the babies count from the spring. Oh, they're so used to, eh? Hey, Maui. You little one. You little one. Okay, let's play. Let's play. You gonna play with me? Okay, Mash. Here. Hey. Grapes. Get some grapes. Let's get grapes. Love the whiskers they have. Like this one has such a big whiskers for a little one. For a little guy. So cute. There you go. There you go, baby. I should give you some name. How about Fred? Would you like the name Fred? You look like Fred. Okay, there you go. There you go. And what are these guys doing here? They're still a little bit scared. They're still not used to me. Hopefully a couple more weeks and they will be like the rest of them. Look at the moon. How dramatic it is today, tonight. Wow. Yeah. 
it's not the best camera to take pictures of the moon or videos, unfortunately. However, however, it does a good job in the dark, generally. My solar lights are shining. Such a beautiful night here. And there is a commotion in here. The one mama is still scared of me. I guess she will come around. But then you bunch, what you don't be scared of me. Come on. Don't you be scared of me, you know me. The water in the pool was really warm today. I spent a good four hours in the pool today. I was able to finish a book. By the way, a book uh, by Nicholas Sparks, two by two, which I purchased at Costco. It's an excellent novel. Really enjoy, enjoyed reading it. Look at that moon. Amazing with those clouds. Wow. Spectacular. Who is that? Who's that? I hear some familiar voice there underneath. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. This is my friend. This is my friend. Hey, how are you doing? Come, come, come. Come, my friend. This is teenager. What, what do you want? Grabbing my hand? Okay. Here. There's a grape for you, little baby. Another grape. Yes, how are you doing today? I've not seen you all day. What were you up to? What were you up to? Oi, come here. Where are you going? Underneath? Come here. Come here, boob. Come here, boob. Yesterday I was doing a video in Polish and I was talking how soft his fur is. It's like an ang angora. It's amazing. I said that it reminds me of a blanket that I bought in uh, New Zealand. I was merino wool blanket. Went to this gift shop and I saw this blanket and I touched it and I said, oh my god, this is like a cloud. I have to, I have to buy this blanket. The blanket cost like a it cost a lot. It was, uh, the cost of the blanket was $300, which is by any means like lots of money for a blanket. So I kind of like I left it and uh, I left the store and she goes like, go, go back and buy the dumb blanket because then you're going to be regretting and you're going to be telling me. And you're going to be talking about that dumb blanket that you didn't buy. So I went and I bought. And I still have that blanket on my sofa. What do you have here? You have some mess in here. So in the, anyways, I purchased that blanket and it's still on my sofa. Uh, nine years later. <laughs> That's very soft. Very, very soft. Like him. Like my little friend here. So soft. I thought that raccoon's fur would be kind of rough, but it's not. It's really beautiful. I could see how they survive the winter because it's really, really warm. They have like undercoat, like a finer undercoat underneath. Yeah, you fat one. Little fat one. 
Yeah, I really fattened them up. Yes, um, they look like they normally would look in um, October. It's only end of July. So they really will be ready for winter this year. Because they hibernate, they kind of sleep of the winter and they live off their body fat. So the more body fat, the better chances of surviving the winter, right? Yes, 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 yes. And the little babies here. I found some videos from last year where these guys were babies and he's most likely he he's most likely um one of the babies of black mama cuz I think I have him and his little brother the one that has scar on his nose that comes here too this year and they uh, I have to post that video I have to make a little video and post it I just found it today, from September 2017. You have something here. I'm just gonna take it for you. It's like a mat. Yes, I know. You're not so used to any somebody grooming you right like this, right? So soft. To touch, you have another thing here. Okay, I'm gonna clean you up like my cats. Hmm? Such a beautiful little face. Yeah, you have such a beautiful little face, my boy. And Mama, hello, hello. Mama from the little baby. Should, should, shall I say, Mama of the Fred? And this is Fred's Mama. And you just love Awa. Who's <laughs> somebody's touching my feet underneath? <laughs> you just love to spit those skins, right? The way you eat, you spit on you all your skins. Ah, Fred is here. Come here, Fred. Fred is getting used to me too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Fred, Fred would love some grapes too. Okay, here you go. Here you go, guys. There you go. Ah, you so nice. So nice with those little hands picking stuff up. Just like humans do, eh? Such a little hand, such a little cute hand. Yeah, this one kind of took to me from the very beginning of the season. He started coming up like uh, on my... Uh, he started climbing my legs and he started coming up. Every time I, I show up, he shows up and he runs to me just like a doggy. My little private doggy, eh? At Zealand. Yes, you are, you are my private doggy. Such a good raccoon. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. So soft underneath. Yeah, look, what a messy eater, how he spits the skins, mess everywhere, but I forgive him because I love him, so he can do no wrong here, right? The bowl is almost all for you, yes, that's right, all for you. Look at your ears, so cute. Such a cute little ears. 
Mm. See how you can tame a wild animal? It's incredible. But if you give them heart, lots of heart, they can feel it and they never, never, not even once anyone growl at me. Because people are asking, aren't you scared? Uh, and uh, I said to, like, ask my husband. He will tell you that not even one raccoon ever, ever, ever growl at me. They growl at each other because they fight for territories, but never, never, never growl at me or show any kind of even low bit of aggression. Never. Never, never, never. Look you one little baby. Let me give some baby. Baby. Okay, mush. Little Fred. Take it. Little Fred. Love their noses. Such a nice little noses. Ach, ach, ach. Freddy's mama is like a little ball. Look how fat. Ridiculous. Mishu, the, the, the male that comes here is even fatter than her. But her and black mama are really, really fat. Zobaczcie, mamy tutaj competition. Ty co mi tu pod, podgryzasz? Why, who, who's like biting my toes in here? Hey. Are you gonna share with him? Yeah? You wanna share? You don't wanna share. Okay, I'm gonna give you some too. Okay. Yeah, I give you some baby. What are you doing here? You biting my toes? Who's biting my toes? You're so scared. Okay. Hmm? Who's who's coming here? Who's who's in here? So see what sort of evenings I have here. No wonder I don't want to be at home. I want to be here all days and all nights. No stress. Ah, baby, baby, Freddy. No stress, just a uh, relaxing time with my raccoons. Hmm? Yes, that's right. I have two around me, somehow they still in agreement and no fighting is going on. Look at you, how cute you are. Look at you, you're so cute, you're so cute, you're so cute. But this one I cannot pet, he's scared of petting. Just my friend here, he's tame. Hmm? What's going on there? Where are you going? Don't go anywhere. Look. He's eating your food. Yeah, don't go anywhere. You guys play nice. Be nice to each other. Yeah? Be nice to each other. Good boys. They must know each other. Seems like they behave like that because I don't know you so much. You uh, you look new to me, but this guy knows you, so well, it's all good. Look how beautiful he is. He's a little, little bit. Like so, really soft black fur behind the ears. What a cute little face. What a cute little raccoon. Hmm. My teenager. Where's black mama? She usually comes late now. 
and my friend is enjoying cat food from the can. See, they love cat food too. Another one wants to have some too. But it's just for my friend, special treat for being so nice. Everyone else should be happy with dog food, peanuts, and grapes. Oh, you prefer to eat like people eat in India, huh? This kind of reaching over with your hand. Look messy, better eat like this. I put some medicine inside uh, that can food for some immune system support that I normally give to cats. So good that he's gonna eat this and get some medicine too. I don't take A. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you taking this plate with you? Oh, those raccoons. So we have Charna Mama here. We have the Black Mama here with her babies. Those are the babies. And Black Mama is behind. And the pirate here with the skinny tail. Who wants peanuts? So this is the famous Black Mama. She's been with us for four or five years. Come here, Black Mama. And those are the this year's babies. There is four of them. Come here, Black Mama. This is Black Mama. Very, very beautiful. Very striking looking raccoon. There is no other raccoon here like Black Mama. Why are you running, Black Mama? What's wrong? Look at this guy, how he's eating. This is the pirate guy. Oops, sorry. This is the pirate guy with a scar on his nose. I was telling the story, but I think it was in Polish that last year when he was a baby he got uh, poked by a bird most likely and he had that pink wound um, that we were watching every week just to see if he's healing or not but it healed and now he has a scar my black mama is back who's back who went into the bushes and came back black mama and this little baby always likes to roll around like crazy. Look how big is Black Mama. Wow. As big as a closet. Hey. Hey, babies. Who wants peanuts? Come and get some peanuts. Come and get some peanuts. Get some peanuts. Come and get some peanuts. Here. In the bowl. Get some nice peanuts here. Yep. That's right. But, oh, of course. Always overturning the whole bowl. You guys know me. You guys know me, yeah? You guys know me. Mm-hmm. Wanna play? Wanna play? Wanna play? Wanna play? Where's the fourth baby? Black Mama, what are you doing? What are you doing, Black Mama? Are you angry today somehow? And you guys with this, pe this peanut ball, play nice. So you're gonna be 
making a mess. Hmm? Let's see how comfortable the little pirate is. And can you see the scar on his face? Right above the nose. See, that was the damaged baby. And he survived. Thank God. Really, we were really voting for him. It was horrible to watch and we couldn't do anything to help him. And we thought he's gonna die of some kind of infection. But he recovered. Just great. What do you want? What do you want? Look at the funny little noises they make. Those raccoons, those babies. And this one is the playful. I like to roll around in dirt and make my fur a mess. Oh, look at him. So sweet. How can you not love those kind of animals? I don't know, people who don't love animals are really heartless. And here they are again. Here they are again. Yep. There's the ball. Mama. 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 There you go, Mama. I know you like you like sweets. Oh, there you go. Took the cake and went in the bushes. I left the kids with me. And some kids follow her into the bushes too. Just two left. Okay, let me get you. Okay, no. Two. Let me get you this. Okay. Let me get you this. And what would you like? What would you like? Don't be so scared today. Okay. You are here. You are here with me, right? That's right. You're so funny. <laughs> you always fall. Oh, going to mama.